This will be a quick introduction on how to use Adobe Photoshop, the photo editing program. When we open Photoshop, it may come up to a screen where we need to skip through the registration process. Just click on Edit, and you'll need to grab a photo from your H drive, something that you've already currently saved. I'm going to go ahead and say File, Open, and I've got some pictures in a folder on my, uh, in my tech folder, Editing. Uh, one of them just called Edit. I wanted to show you how you can use one of the stamp clone tools to fix some problems that you might have. Um, I found this picture on the internet of a gentleman with a pimple. Everybody has acne, and when you see a beautiful face on a magazine, um, it's been photoshopped. So I'm looking at this pimple that this gentleman has here right beneath his eye. I'm going to take the stamp clone tool, and what that means is I'm going to grab part of his face, and I'm going to clone it. Now this tool is a little bit too large right now. I would be cloning his entire cheek and trying to put it up here. So there's some important parts to this program. The size of all the tools are up here. So I'm going to click on this and resize this tool so that it's smaller. You can see that it's, it's a better size. The other thing that we've got is Control Plus. Control Plus allows us to move in, or we could say View, uh, I'm sorry, View, Zoom In. You can see how it says Control Plus is going to allow us to zoom in. So Anytime that I'm switching tools, I go back to the Move tool, and I always like to click the Move tool if something seems to be locked up. Again, this um, little uh, feature that we're going to use with the program is called the Clone Stamp tool. If I click on that, and I try to click on the picture to say I want to clone this part of the face, we get an error message. And it says it can't use the area because it hasn't been identified. Alt-click defines the source. That means you have to hold down the Alt key, and when I hold down the Alt key, it changes from a circle it will turn into a target. So I'm going to clone this area of his face right here by clicking and then go back up to this area and you can see that I've just removed his pimple there. I could do some other things where I say I want to clone this area right here and I'm going to go ahead and start using now the clone stamp tool to give this gentleman more than just a little goatee. Whoops, you can see that I've cloned something else here. Undo. Grab this with the Alt and then move up here. You can see down beneath his um, mouth, you can see where the plus sign is at, where it's actually grabbing some of the things. If I keep going, it's gonna take the white, and you can see now it's copying the white from behind his face. So that would be how you would end up cloning some things. If you wanted to, you could actually clone his eyeball. You could say, I wanna take part of his eyeball here. I'm gonna put his eyeball onto his cheek. So we could clone part of his eye or something, a, a facial feature and put it onto something else. That was just one of the, uh, the features that we have with Photoshop. It's called the Clone Stamp Tool. Another feature that you might enjoy is taking and fixing a face. Um, often when you get a picture taken, somebody's eyes are closed. Um, this picture, everybody's eyes are open, but it's open. This one, we've got somebody with his eyes closed. So I like the uh, hands and where everybody's looking in this one, except for this uh, person on the right hand side over here. So we've got um, at the bottom, we can click on the different pictures and we can select which picture we'd like to see. I'd like to use this part of this boy's face. So I'm grabbing it now with the lasso tool. Okay, I'll go through that again. Over here on the right hand side, there's a lasso tool. And if actually you click on the right, right click on the lasso tool, you'll want to change it from magnetic to regular lasso. Almost every tool, if it's got a little triangle next to it, allows you to do more features or more things with each tool. So it's got several different types of tools. I enjoy the lasso tool better than the magnetic lasso tool. It doesn't always work. Once I've grabbed something with my lasso tool, I can go ahead and say, let's take this and move this to another picture. So I'm going to move this boy's eyes to the picture that was better because we don't have this guy's hand up here in this picture, it was, it was better. So I'm, I'm looking at this right now and I'm trying to bring this boy's face, but as I look at this, I only want his eyeballs. So I've now got over here two different layers. I've got the background and I've got these eyes. And you're like, this, this doesn't look quite right. It's, it's really close, but it doesn't seem to be quite right. Well, maybe we could rotate that just a little bit and maybe we'll take the eraser tool and we're going to, oh, I'm sorry, apply. We're gonna take the eraser tool and we're gonna erase just part of this layer. Now, if I were in the background and I were using the eraser tool, it'd start to erase the background. I don't want to do that, Control-Z. I want to end up just erasing part of the layer. 
So as I grab this now, you can start to see I'm erasing part of the layer and I want to just get just the eyeballs. Control plus allows me to zoom in. And so now I'm gonna grab his eyes again and where his eyes at. I'm trying to get his eyes lined up just perfectly so now I can fix this so I, I no longer have him with his eyes closed, I have him with his eyes open. Okay, these eyes need to become a little bit smaller. So as I shrink the eyes just a little bit and drag them right into the right spot and say, okay, I believe I like how this face is starting to look. I love this guy's smile. And what I'm thinking is we could put this guy's smile onto all the other faces from this picture right here. So we're gonna take the lasso, and we're gonna grab this guy's smile. We're gonna use the move tool and we'll move his smile onto another face. So we've got a smile here, and you can start to see. Let's start zooming in, because I think he's got a great smile. And like, okay, it doesn't seem to blend in very well. Well, part of it is maybe we need to resize the smile a little bit, and we could use the eraser tool, remember? Oops, I'm sorry, apply the transformation. That means I've resized it. When I say apply, I'm on layer one, and I'm on the eraser tool. I could start to erase everything that I need to erase here. Again, every tool is defined up here at the top, this is a kind of a fuzzy eraser. That means it's not real sharp. If I did a sharp eraser, that would have a different quality. I can also change the size of the eraser. If I'm zoomed way in, I can end up just, you know, erasing just a little bit. So this smile right here is from this college player now on his face. But I'm going to take this smile and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to move it. Whoops. Edit, paste. Oh, I can't paste it. I'm going to have to take that same smile again from this face. I'm going to move it down onto this one. So control minus, and here's a space down here. Rotate it a little bit. Zoom in, <laughs> take the eraser, and start erasing some of the parts of the smile that I don't want. Move it over. Now you can see we're starting to get this guy's smile on everybody's face. We could do it again where we take his face, get his smile. Things to do with Photoshop, important to know when you're saving Photoshop. If you'd like to use that in a PowerPoint or into another presentation, you want to end up not saving it as a Photoshop PSD picture. You want to save that as a JPEG. JPEG will allow you to insert that picture into any presentation or into another video if you'd like. Hope that was enough information for you to use to understand Photoshop. It's just a basic introduction. We could go on and on, but that should be enough to get you started.